Hello everyone, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Georgia campaign. So it's been a while since the uh, start of this series, so I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, little catch-up video where I go over the map modes, where we've been, where we're going, etc, etc. Might be a uh, shorter video than normal. Let's start with the uh, religion map mode. Let's check that out. So yeah, we've converted all but, looks like, five provinces to Sunni. There's one up here in Copa, these two over here, and then these two. But we are converting these two provinces to Orthodox. I did kick out Sunnis, so there's a uh, Sunni fanatic rebellion that's teetering on eruption sitting at 95 percent it's been sitting at 95 percent 95 percent for a couple of months now actually like half a year really I'm, i've been waiting for that to fire because i don't want to go to war with that about to fire because it is 10,000 uh 10,000 soldiers 10,000 men so i want to take that out first but uh it just won't pop so that's pretty much the uh, religion map mode. Religious unity is 90%. And we are, as I said, converting those two provinces. The other thing is uh, autonomy. So we started with our capital in uh, Kartli, and we moved it to Trapezunta because it's on the water. Trebizunta, I think, is a, uh, it's not the best province that we could get. I think there's a couple other provinces that are probably better. But I think this is the best province in the best location. Since our goal is to get Anatolia, and then down to around here, everything over here... Having our capital here, I could build roads to over here, have a port over here, have a port here, and then to get over to these regions. Then I could build a couple regional capitals over here for these two provinces, because over here there's a lot of uh, mountains, hills, forests, so that communication efficiency is pretty bad, so I'm going to have to build regional capitals to decrease that. So over here, this stuff will be taken out by just uh, travel, and the regional capitals will go over in the uh, hinterlands, where it's going to be tough to travel over land. So autonomy is, I'd say for the most part, decreased as far as it's really going to go. Some provinces like Kaffa can still decrease. Actually, I guess a lot of these provinces can. Probably, I want to conquer Shirvan and the rest of these... Uh, countries, I guess, uh, north of the Caucasus. I do have Kabardia as a vassal, so I'm going to give these territories to Kabardia and let them deal with it. Speaking of vassals, Ak Kianlu is my vassal as well. Uh, the Ottomans are currently fighting Karaman. So, well, actually, they're fighting Tech, and Karaman is fighting with them. Currently, the Tech Caramon Alliance is winning. I wanted to attack. I, th I was thinking of attacking Tech to fight Caramon to have them break their alliance with the Mamluks so I can attack the Mamluks and get a bunch of ducats from them. But I'm thinking at the same time, I don't want to weaken Caramon when they're fighting the Ottomans, so I guess I could try to do it. If I try and time it right, I could probably do it towards the end of their war. It's weird, because I don't want the Ottomans to win. But I want to fight Karaman. 
we'll see what happens. I gotta deal with this uh, rebellion first. Hopefully, it you know pops up sometime in the next ten years. Uh, current rulers, uh, Bagrationi, forty-eight years old, five four four. Our heir is George Bagrationi, four two three. Our advisor died. We had a half-price advisor. He was nice. He helped with conversions. We are allied with Muscovy and the Empire of the Romans. Probably going to eventually break the alliance with Muscovy. Because I don't like the idea of staying allied to them. Just because historically, you know, Muscovy, Russia, and Georgia don't really get along. So I feel, I feel dirty allying with them. It doesn't feel right. Our economy... Their economy is decent, I suppose. We do have a duck at 35 going to missionaries. We, go, we make about 8 ducats from trade, 7 from production, 8.5 from taxation. We got a little bit of overextension cost. Some knowledge sharing. Our uh, trade region is the Black Sea. We moved it. We're collecting there. We are privateering in the Aegean. Picking up a little bit of ducats there. I'm behind on admin tech by a lot. I've been waiting for uh, level 4 education, which I should be getting soon. A year or maybe two. There'll be a little bit left off. Probably throw some Throw some ducats in there so we don't have to wait that extra year to get that. Our idea groups so far are state religion and culture. I'm not sure about the uh, third idea group yet. Missions, Georgia doesn't really have any. We are centralizing. Rebellions, religion. We have high church influence for the conversions. Our two vassals. And estates. Yeah, our corruption is 17.65, so it is decreasing. Because we are revoking privileges. Looks like the burghers have six privileges. The greater nobles have... 11 privileges, but they don't really have much power. They only have 16%. And the lesser nobles have 9 privileges that we have to revoke. I pretty much... I'm going to try to focus on greater noble privileges. The state does have 43% influence or whatever power. So despite having all those privileges, they're uh, they're not that strong. I'm fine with this. Uh, I like the burgers to get a little bit more powerful, just because I like a more powerful burger faction. Because I, I don't really hate the burgers, so... I feel like with the exception of a couple privileges, I don't really care that the uh, burgers have a bunch of privileges. Some of their privileges are actually nice, like uh, principal court suppliers for that uh, urban production modifier. I don't really care about manpower privileges. I feel like you get so little manpower from estates that I just give those privileges if I need to give privileges, or I just let them have them until there's nothing else to revoke. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I'm really going to conquer up in this area except the coastline. So I would have to fight Muscovy anyway for a couple of their provinces. 
and then pretty much just the coastline extending down here and then this area and then this area and then the Levant as well it's pretty much the uh, what we're going to try to expand into the burgers are the burgers the uh, Ottomans are pretty weak but they're still the Ottomans so you really can't keep your eye off them they did conquer Aden so they have that territory now they're trying to conquer Teak or Tech or whatever There we go, 100%. They rose up in the province that we were in. Our development level is now 4. It was 3 before. We lost... We lost half of our troops. Ouch. It's alright, because they lost. My goal is to fight the Mamluks and just try and siphon as many ducats from them as I can. If you've been watching this series, you probably heard me say that a couple times. Because every war you get from the... every war you do with the Mamluks, you only need to occupy like four provinces over here, and then you can pretty much take ducats and war-ups from the, from the uh, Mamluks. And whenever they, they... they'll have a lot of troops, but I hardly ever fight battles with them, just because they're... They're so disorganized, and it takes a long time to travel. So, like, if 10,000 troops are up here, they'd have to walk all the way down here, and that takes pretty much years. So you, you have a long time to siege down there, their provinces down there. If you have about 20,000 troops, you shouldn't lose against the uh, Mamluks. The White Horde still exists. Generally, the White Horde dies, but uh, they're hanging on. We have converted Amazia. I think that should stick, because they were at 40% before. Unless they just got to 40%, because Yazgat is at 20%, so they should go to 40% and stay Sunni. Might have to do another round of uh, conversions. Our truce with uh, Karakianlu did end. What are we doing on a, uh, aggressive expansion? Okay, so... I think when I give territory, I'm going to give territory to Akianlu down here, and then I'll just start stealing Akianlu's territory. So we're going to... I'm going to expand south. Akianlu's going to expand south. Or Akianlu's going to expand south by conquering territory. And I'm going to expand south by taking Akianlu's conquered territory. Let's go to Ganja. I think I should probably take Tabriz... Sooner rather than later, because they do have 26 development there. I don't want that to get too high. So I think what I'll do is expand over here. Karakianlu is Shiite, so Sunnis really don't uh, care that much about them. But I think over here, I'll try to uh, fight the Mamluks and get ducats while expanding over here. I think that's my expansion plans for the next uh, 10 to 20 years. Alright, so that was uh, this episode. I think I'll wait, try to see what happens over here with the Ottomans, and then... Uh, 
make a potential move. If I don't, then I'll just fight somebody over here. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.